hey guys, how you doing? I'm HexDSL, and this is Temtem. Um, Temtem is is a Pokemon like. It's a it's a Pokemon like game. It's a game about capturing critters, making friends, and having adventures, which is just great. Um, it's shocking to me there's not more Pokemon likes out there, and that you know, and all the ones are very small scale. This is the first Pokemon like game I found that is uh, that is seems to be of a large scale. It seems to be like the sort of game where you can play for a long time. There's lots of different. There's lots of, of Temtems in, in the game you can tame as a tamer. And there are some uh, special Temtems. You can figure you know, it's, it's Pokemon, guys. It's a Pokemon. It's 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 a brilliant Pokemon-like game. Um, it's it's something that I've I really liked uh, playing through so far. I'm only a couple of hours in, and uh, graphically it's polished. It's beautifully polished. It's got that. Let's be honest. Nintendo, <laughs> Nintendo like look. They're they're ripping off all the right things, right? They're knocking off all the good stuff and improving on the system. So let's talk about improvements before I show you battle because I get distracted. First of all, improvements are quest tracker, proper fucking quest tracker. Nice, okay. I don't know if the most recent game has a proper fucking quest tracker on the screen. We can always see it. I haven't played it. But I assume it doesn't because they never have really before. Um, you can repeat dialogue, and there are bits of things. There are things like quests that help you give you clues and stuff. For overall Pokemon, it just fucking abandons you, right? That's not something we've got in Temtem, uh, which I think is is great. I really, <laughs> really like the fact that it's like, yep, no, you, you're, you're good to go. Um, also, uh, the uh, the actual battle system uses uh, basically a mana bar rather than being PP. Now, PP in Pokemon is your energy for attacks. That's essentially a fuel gauge that you fill up. That That's how it works in Pokemon, right? If fuel gauge is empty, you buy a thing or you rest and it fills it up again. It's a fuel tank, right? Uh, that means you can, if you can just stock up on stuff to fill it up, you can just steamroll everything you see with your most strong attack. In this game, it uses stamina, and stamina slowly fills up, and you use it, and it goes down. Which means that you can kind of have to strategize what skills to use and when, so you don't burn out and run out of stamina. Uh, however, they've got this cool system where you can exhaust. I think it's overexert. It says a uh, temtem. Um, you can overexert one. So that means it can use its health as a replacement for stamina. So if you want to do a very, very powerful attack at the end of a battle to just finish the battle, you can do that. Or if you want to kill your Temtem by overexerting it to the point where it runs out of health, you can do that, which adds a level of strategy. So when you're playing, you can you can literally like you can choose to sacrifice one to finish a fight. That's actually pretty cool. I mean, I I, I like what I like that system. I think that's cool. Um, also, it's worth saying, this game is multiplayer. It's a co-op multiplayer game. They're saying MMO, and it is an MMO in the way that, as you can see, other people are running around this world with me. There's other people in this world just running. You can probably see, look, yeah, there's some people. You see loads in the school. It's really popular at the minute. This game's like the, the current the current hotness at the minute. Um, yeah, you can see people there. Just, they're just normal people. Now, I haven't tried the co-op aspect and grouping up and partying up with people. I haven't tried that because I don't... It's creepy. I would join the creepy children. Um, <laughs> you can't... I can't say that uh, it, it, it's great as a multiplayer. I can't say how much interactivity there is because I haven't tried it. I, just, I assume it's just like you just party up, you just follow each other around the map and, and go through the, the world together because the world's not huge. It's, it's it's like it seems to be like that. Seems I think that might be all there is in the early access at the moment. There might be more areas. Don't know yet because again, I'm only a couple of hours in and I've been faffing and playing around and checking stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know how much interactivity there is and how much. There is in that that's, that's really MMO-ish, and how, at the moment you, you can sort of you can push start, and you can sort of like you can interact with people, and you can friend people. Um, but interaction options are like you know you, you can find someone, and then you can be like like bad talk. I think again, I haven't really tried, I haven't really tried a lot of these. Uh, there's this area here I can't go through for trying to go through. Exactly, I'd expect in Pokemon, the guy's going to tell me I can't go through, tell me why I can't go through, and then also. Tell me what I've got to do to actually let get into let me through, which is fine. I'm not gonna do that. The performance of this game is uh it it's yeah, it's a little bit on Nvidia, it's a little bit all over the place. The game runs absolutely perfectly as long as you don't put texture quality on ultra. However, if I do other stuff, like if I start tabbing around my desktop and like go into a web browser and coming back, as I'm doing that, the performance degrades, 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 degrades to the point where it becomes a bit of a slideshow. This only seems to be affecting NVIDIA users. None of the AMD users on ProtonDB have reported this. And then the people I've spoke to are playing on AMD, having an absolutely great time. They're saying it runs perfectly. For me, this is not true. I've got this on medium at the moment because I've been trying to figure out a way to balance it so I can do other stuff while playing it. And yeah, I think this might be the sweet spot. But uh, also, I'm losing some frames from recording. So 
you might want to you, you might want to uh, have a look at the settings and stuff and don't expect it to work fine first time i think it builds something of a texture cache as well because like it seems to run smoother the longer i've played which is nice so let's go have a look at a fight now and get involved in that and see if it's something that you guys are interested in picking up because I really like this game. I mean, like, I know I'm kind of being a bit dry about it because uh, I'm talking about performance and things. But yeah, I, I, I like this game. This game is this game is good. This game is interesting to me. Um, oh, there was a trainer to battle on one of these piers that I just died playing before I recorded. Uh, so I'm probably not going to bother with that. Instead, I'm going to go and walk around in the tall grass until a wild Temtem attacks me, which is totally different to the wild grass where Pokemon attack you. Different wild grass. I haven't been in that building yet. I might go in that building later. Uh, yeah, the uh, there we go. I should probably use my radar better. Okay, so walking around in the tall grass. Eventually, something will bite me. Do do do. Okay, I've seen. I haven't got one of these little bird guys. I can capture one of these little bird guys if I want. That might be cool. Um, with cards, not balls. Cards. They're t <laughs> totally different. And I feel like I feel like I'm being like the fact it's so similar to Pokemon. It's actually one of the things I really like about this game. Like, like genuinely, I like the fact that this game is, is is really fucking similar to Pokemon because it means that it means that I know how to play it, and it means it's kind of been craving it. And also, the new Pokemon game is like fifty quid. This is like, I got this for twenty three. This is a cheaper way to get that itch scratched. And uh, the fact that it's a new franchise means it's not weighed down by its own law. And there's no like prerequisites it has to do and because it's in early access. It means that. You know, they can, you know, theoretically do whatever they like. You can see again, my, my mana there, uh, my mana there, sorry, stamina there is going up and down. I'm going to shield myself with this guy. Hopefully he won't one-shot it. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's a shame. I would like to not kill him on the next turn. I'd like to capture him for the video. Uh, Using hypnosis. Um, yeah, he's sleeping. That's, that's great. I don't want to kill this guy, so I'm just going to swap out to a way weaker dude um so that i've got my weakest dude so i can attack uh yeah swap that i'm using the controller as well keyboard seems to work fine but this just seems like a controller game to me so i was like i'll just play the controller and that's been fine uh we'll shield again we'll change here and then that will change my lowest guy then i can just hit him hard and then throw out a card to capture him because it seems like, you know, like the lower the health the easier they capture so rather than wasting cards i'll uh, i'll wait till i get low yeah, you just keep sleeping that guy. That's fine. That's, that's fine by me. Okay. Oh, he's no longer asleep. Oh, was you. So, okay. So, scratch that guy. And you will shield. So, yeah. And then hopefully now we'll we'll get him low enough. We'll get him in the red zone so we can capture him. He's half to the top right. Mine in the bottom left. Obviously, that seems... Hey! Oh, fuck me. That guy did well, though, right? He did well. He's going to level up soon. That's cool. I like they're all adorable as well. Any one of the any one of the Temtems could be a plushie, and I would probably buy it because fucking adorable. Uh, on the way up here, I had to face obviously just like Pokemon the Gauntlet, where you have to face multiple fucking trainers to get somewhere. Um, it was it was honestly a lot of fun. I, I I enjoyed I enjoyed the Gauntlet aspect of it. I enjoyed going through this world and, and slogging through. I think the the actual trip in between places was probably longer. In this game, the Pokemon. It, oh, another battle. You never know what you're going to get. I hope it's going to be a bird guy again, isn't it? Oh, just one of them. Okay, so he's got one. But that does, that, I mean, that doesn't change things. I get to pull out two, regardless. Um, and in this case, I'm just going to beat the shit out of him because I've already got one of those guys. Really not interested in a, really not interested in picking up another one. So I'm just going to slap him. There he goes. One-shotted. Uh, I don't know if maybe below a certain level they ignore you. I... I don't know. We're just going to get the tedious fights over and over. I, take, I assume you have to fight over and over because uh, because the game does uh, the game does uh, want you to to pick up like rare types and different different things. So I guess I would guess the game's going to make you. Oh, I can't get away that way. Did I not go back for the way I came? Okay, I have to go the other way. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll have to walk through some more tall grass. It's terrifying. Also, the grass is a bit blue, which I find odd. It's not it's not it's not the color you'd expect. Okay, so I'm going to go that way. There you go. Very confusing how to get back. Hey, the beach house. This was one of the other, the only other outposts I found. I like this outpost. This outpost was pretty cool. Um, it was a bit of a shock because it first came up and I was like, it's like a tiny Pokemon center out in the wilderness. It's got the two things you need. And when I came up here, there were loads of people just queued up here, like waiting to use it, which was cute. Um, so it's nice. The, the, uh, the game feels dense. Like it feels populous, right? Because, uh, 
part of the uh, oh look epic epic hamster i want to i want a surfboard god damn i want to be an epic hamster with a surfboard uh, the game feels dense pokemon always felt lonely to me like, even though there's things in the world because it was a single player game and it wasn't densely populated i did feel a little bit like pokemon was always felt a little bit barren like a li just just that little bit just that little bit like empty where because there's other people running around doing shit this this feels good like it doesn't it doesn't feel boring or, or empty at times it constantly feels like there's always something else to see because of the MMO aspect. I think maybe you have to be sort of someone who someone who really enjoys MMOs for that to take. I don't know, but just having other people in the world, in the ambience of the world, I find really nice. And it just makes it feel it just makes it feel full. I like that. Oh, oh no, no, can't shoot him either then, am I? Oh well, it's all good XP for my dudes. Um I am gonna change my team around because I really don't like this spud looking fella. Pant looking fella stresses me out, so I can go to my squad here. And I can move people with X and then, uh, so yeah. I, I actually really like, uh, hmm, 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 I really like this guy here. And again, there are different types, just like there are in Pokemon. There's different types, different types of dudes you can, oh, you can work with. I went through Torgrass earlier and didn't, didn't get attacked by anything. And now I'm just getting slammed by everything, which seems, I suppose, good for the video. But uh, yeah, overall, I mean, I like it. I really like it. Uh, performance, like I said, performance is my concern. Like the performance, the performance is yeah it's not it's not the I mean, it's been fine now but like you don't have to do a lot and it just tanks and it certainly didn't enjoy being captured it took me a while to get the capture to get it to capture properly i couldn't select it for some reason um but again they're streamer problems aren't they not sort of problem most people are faced with it but uh yeah i seem to have it right now so I, maybe i'm through the performance stuff i don't know uh just hit him to one shot maybe you know what maybe uh, i don't know let's see boom no two shot oh that's gonna be a three shot yeah, he's not doing a he's not doing a huge amount of damage. He's not a massive concern for me here. So we'll just peck him again and we'll kick him again and maybe that'll get through it. Oh yeah, there you go. Yay! Uh, inventory wise, I should probably show you some of the menu stuff as well, actually, before we go. Uh, inventory wise, look. Oh you can there you go. In fact, that's a good screen. You can get you can see all your stats on it, the type it is as well. So nature type one there. Uh, this is a uh, yeah mental type. Was that nature? Was this wind type? Sorry, nature, uh, nature, and and uh, neutral type. Okay, and obviously they have they're, they're strong against and weak against different things, which you expect from this game. Uh, the menu here it's quite good. I would expect to be able to use shoulder buttons, navigate left and right. This but it is all on the uh, the pedal stick. Uh, settings seem to have everything you want. Again, I'm running the medium because I was chasing that weird performance. And I've put my uh, text quality on medium. It goes straight from medium to ultra. And that seems to be where the problem is. So hopefully I can turn up the overall quality a bit higher. Um, and then, oh, I've got another one. Over, I hope I can turn the overall quality up a bit higher. Uh, and then uh, and then just leave the text quality on medium. That should be the, the sweet spot. But uh, it does seem like AMD users are getting a better time with this. So there you go. Oh, I've got one of these already. It's windblading. I don't, I, I don't windblade things usually. So let's do that. Let's do all these things. Yeah. Fuck him up. Very nice animations. Very, very nice animations. I'm, what I'm going to do with this video, I think, um, is I'm going to come back in like 10 hours time uh, when I've played 10 hours of game time and then I'm going to let you know what I thought overall at the end of it. Is that guy? Yeah, I got him. Fucked him up. <laughs> but then I'm going to come, I think I'm going to come back and play 10 hours. I'm going to give you my thoughts 10 hours in. I think that might be a good way of doing this because hopefully there's a lot of game here to experience. Hopefully there's like, you know, there's enough game here that I can, I can really sort of... Can we, oh my God, I'm getting attacked so much this time. Should be a bird. Oh, yeah, bird in this area. A paro. A paro. Uh, yeah. I don't. I mean, it's so close to Pokemon. I wouldn't be shocked if they have legal problems. Um, I'm not even. I mean, I know that seems like a, a bit of a joke, but I'm. Uh, yeah. I mean, it seems like it. It would have. So, uh, yeah. This one. We'll just kick him. I think. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be shocked. <laughs> Nintendo just get, at least try and get a litigious over this, or it might just be like different enough to get away with it. But there's. A lot in common. I mean, like, it is, I hope I hope they get away because I think we need we need uh we need Pokemon clones. Oh, we need Pokemon clones. We need Pokemon likes in the world. It makes the world better, and hopefully it'll hold Nintendo to a higher standard with some of the things they've been doing because this game is doing a lot of the same. Um, I do hope the plot works out to be good though. That's my one concern. Uh, Feather Gatling gun, nice. Again, uh, yeah. It's good. Anyway, I'll stop the video here. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry about the rambling nature of this. That's just the mood I'm in, though. So, bye.